everyone, it's Jim. Hey, today I wanted to talk to you all about how to cut some time out of your routine. All right, so whether you're uh, working full time or you're a full time parent or doing both or have uh, more than one job or something, I mean, what, what's true is it seems like we all don't have enough time, yet we all have the same amount of time. We have 24 hours in a day to get things done. So uh, I'm here to give you a couple tips uh, about how um, I save some time in my day. Uh, you know, our kids just went back to school. So, I mean, we wanted to uh, save some time further. Um, one of the biggest time savers that I, that I find is uh, actual me is meal prepping. Meal prepping saves a lot of time for me. Um, look, see, I make stuff like this every day. And, um, you know, I, I make a bunch of these like on a Sunday or something and I just bring them to work. And then so it's like, I don't have to think about where to go for lunch um, and, you know, drive there, wait in line and then come back and all that kind of stuff. And plus it actually is better for you, for me because I get a, I know what I'm eating and I don't have to think about what to eat, right? Um, I don't know about you guys, but I know some, I've had some heated arguments with my wife about what do you want to eat? Well, what do you want to eat? I don't know. What do you want to eat? And then it, it just escalates to something more than it really is. And it just turns out that it's just two people that are hungry, that have become hangry, and then patients has been worn thin and then all of a sudden we're snapping about, well, we just had Chinese food or pizza again or something like that. So uh, the meal prep is just a great way of saving time. Um, another, uh, something else that, you know, that has also saved a lot of time these, day, these days is uh, grocery deliveries. If you guys aren't getting groceries delivered, oh, you're wasting time going to the store. I mean, there's so many uh, stores that do uh, grocery delivery and there's other apps and stuff like that as well too. Um, like I think Costco is starting to do it. Um, Amazon Fresh will do it. Um, if you like buying bulk, Boxed will do your Costco run for you. But uh, what it comes down to, I mean, just do it online. Or if you don't want a full delivery, at least have it your have your um, grocery list, you know, uploaded in there already too. And then you can literally just go in and pick up your groceries and they have it all ready for you too. So, I mean, those are, those are two really uh, good ways to save time in my opinion. I hope you enjoy those. Um, but what happens when after you've saved this time? What are you gonna do with this time now, right? You got extra time now. So, um, you know, some ideas that um, are always kind of cool is to, I, I would always like to, if I have a little more time, maybe learn something new. Um, right now, I really like watching uh, master classes, which are, it's just like a, it's a subscription where you get to uh, learn how to do something with like the best of the field. Like you can learn basketball from Steph Curry or tennis from Serena Williams or cooking from Wolfgang Puck, you know, and other, you know, famous chefs. I mean, just anything. You learn acting from Samuel L. Jackson. You can learn how to DJ from uh, Timbaland and Dead Mouse, things like that. I mean, it, it's a really cool series. I love, uh, I mean, that's something, just an idea for you to learn stuff. There's a lot of, lot of other things that you can do, uh, a lot of online courses. Um, there's always, or you can always think about fitness. I mean, starting to work out, working out at home, or maybe even um, going to some group fitness classes. Uh, I personally love going to uh, yoga classes. It's a good time to, uh, de-stress and relax, um, you know, even like cycle classes are nice too because, um, I don't know, I, like most people, do not like doing cardio workouts, so I mean, that's, that's what I would do, or, you know, pick up a hobby that, like, you've always wanted to do, right? Uh, for me, I'd probably go try to golf more, play poker more, or maybe even play some PlayStation sometimes, but, uh, these are all great things. Oh, last thing, you can learn a uh, different language. That's that's a great thing to do with your spare time. But um, when it comes down to it, um, I hope I hope you know you can say, learn to save a little more time and then do something productive with that time too. So that's the message this month. But um, thanks for watching, guys. Let me know what you think.